As reported by Road to VR this week, Alden Dynamics, developers of Waltz of the Wizard, have let it be known that they're pausing development on PSVR titles until they get some clarification from Sony on their future plans for VR. In order to secure future developer support, is it time for Sony to finally let us all know about the possibility, if any, of a PSVR 2? Immersed Robot with the release of the PS5, there has been a lot of confusion and speculation about Sony's commitment to VR going forward. While allowing backward support for PSVR on the PS5 platform, Sony have in no way doubled down on their commitment at this time. In some ways this is understandable. With the release of a new console, their primary concern is making the transition as smooth as possible for the traditional gaming community. Muddying that message by commenting on VR support too much in these all-important early days of launch is probably just a chosen strategy they've settled on. However, many PSVR uses have raised legitimate questions over the past few months about how their VR headset will work on the new platform and what benefits they can expect. All but a very small number of PSVR titles are now confirmed to work fine with PS5 through backwards compatibility. Simply request the PlayStation camera adapter from Sony and you should be good to go. At first it seemed that there would be zero benefit in terms of visuals or frame rate when using a PSVR on a PS5 rather than on a PS4. But Sony London Studio did make it clear that they have updated their VR title, Blood and Truth, to take advantage of the higher powered hardware of the PS5 to provide greater clarity and native 90fps frame rate upgrade. Since then, it also appears that certain VR titles will see some benefit from PS5 if they were designed to take advantage of the more powerful hardware. This lukewarm commitment to PSVR on PS5 has not only caused confusion among fans, but it now seems that developers are equally perplexed. Alden Dynamics CEO said on Twitter, quote, Sony apparently isn't hell-bent on keeping first-gen PSVR away from PS5, but question remains what they'll do next. I think they should do PSP VR, PS5 connection option. We're holding off on further VR product updates on PlayStation, including Natural Magic, a major upcoming expansion to Waltz of the Wizard, until Sony talks what's next. End quote. Without actual confirmed commitment to VR going forward, it could be a case that other devs will join Alden in pausing production of their titles for Sony's platform. Hopefully this isn't the case, but at the very least it might spur Sony to make some kind of statement regarding the future of PSVR. Just last month, PlayStation CEO, Jim Ryan did state that, quote, I think we're more than a few minutes from the future of VR, PlayStation believes in VR, Sony believes in VR, and we definitely believe at some point in the future, VR will represent a meaningful component of interactive entertainment. Will it be this year? No. Will it be next year? No but will it come at some stage? We believe that. End quote. This isn't necessarily the kind of thing developers of a platform want to hear when their livelihood depends on a viable platform for their software when looking ahead. However, once again we are left waiting for some kind of confirmation from Sony on their future plans. Perhaps after the launch period of PS5 is finally out of the way, they may offer more clarification early next year. We can but hope this is the case. Well that's pretty much it for this video. Please hesitantly tap the like button, and if it's not too much of an inconvenience, then please also subscribe to this channel for more VR-focused content. I'll see you all on the flippity flip.